What's happening everybody? It's your old pal Mr. Butter back with you again. The weekend's almost here. Just gotta hang on another day or two, you know? It's a beautiful evening. Almost perfect out here. If this is your first time coming through the channel, then welcome. Bread and butter is pretty new and we're growing pretty quick. Just crossed a thousand subscribers and I'm hoping to just keep on growing. If you're in the kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Also, if you enjoy this video, help me out with a thumbs up. That'll help this video get seen by more people and that'll help my channel grow faster. I got another purchase for Mend. I don't know if you saw the box back yonder. I don't know, I feel like I should get sponsored or something here before too long. How about it end? That's enough of my rambling. Box is black in shiny silver metallic print. It says Nike Air, Air Force One. Nice and clean looking. Tag reads Nike Air Force One 07 Elevate. Colors are light stone, sail, and black. This is a size 10 and a half personal pair. And I ordered these from N. They were right around, I think 120, 130, something like that. And here they are. For me, Air Force Ones never really went out of style. I think I've had a pair since high school. I've always had at least a pair or two in the rotation. These are nice. I feel like this is a, a step above, you know, your standard Air Force One. And I always say I'm a sucker for sale. I just love that color. I think it looks nice and classy. And I think paired with that light stone and then the black and red accents, I just think this this shoe came together quite well. As you can see, this is a first use pair. So that is celebrating the first use of the Nike Swoosh, which just passed its 50th year anniversary. I did a review of the first use Dunks, and I'll go ahead and link that in the description if anybody's interested. But I really like the materials that they used. I got the red pair. There's also a white and green pair. And then I think there's a yellow pair too. But that one must be real limited. Because the price on those is astronomical. I like the colors on here. It almost gives me like a Notre Dunk vibe. The uh, whatever that gray is that they used on the Notre Dunks. And it's not the same color. I know it's not the same color, but it just kind of gives me the same. It just has the same flair as that, if you will. On the outside of the shoe, it's got this, just the outline of the swoosh. And then underneath it says, first use, June 18th, 1971. And then on the inside half of the shoe, Sounds like there's a pterodactyl up there flying around. But then on the inside of the shoe, it's got this nice, I guess that's the light stone color. And that leather has a nice texture on it. I like that. But just a little variation from the outside of the shoe and the inside of the shoe. The outsole looks like your pretty standard Air Force One outsole. It's bright white. And then coming up to the midsole, it's bright white. And one of the things that I really like about this shoe is just this hit of red stitching going through that midsole. Looks nice. I also really like the old school style uh, Nike here up on the heel tab it's a nice suede material a red suede and it feels really good to the touch but in white stitching it's got that old school font spelling out nike i think that looks nice 
Another similarity that these have to the first use dunks that I reviewed is this little gold accent. You know what it reminds me of is like the things that my dad used to wear on his ties, like the tie clips. It's got like a little Fugazi diamond there. And then this is the swoosh is gold. And I'm assuming that they use that because the golden anniversary is the 50th anniversary. And these shoes are released to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Nike swoosh. There's a good look at that. I like the way that that gold accent looked on the dunk highs. But I feel like it looks a little bit more gaudy on, on these shoes. So I'll probably take that off. Also... These came with two sets of laces already in, much like the first use dunk highs. However, I'm keeping both sets of laces in the dunk highs. In this pair, I think I'll probably only use one set of laces. For the base of the shoe on the toe box and then the side panels, you've got this nice sail leather and it, it feels nice. I mean, it's not it's not the highest end, but this is definitely quality leather. This isn't your standard like GR mid or you know that sort of thing. It's it's got really really nice leather on it. I like that. I appreciate that they gave us good materials. And then on this mug guard, you've got a very soft suede in that nice light stone color, and then you got that going up the eye stays. And then around the back of the shoe. And the tongue is a sail nylon tongue. And it looks like the piping is also sail. And the tag has more of that old style Nike font on it with the red swoosh. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys what they look like. 